Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Before Noon Presents the Happy Brew Shack Fun Time Show. Um, God, I'm hungry. You know what I love? I love bacon, biscuits, and beer. So that's what we're going to be making tonight. Customer woman is working late at Whole Foods. So I get to make dinner. So, biscuits, here we go. Before noon, brown colch. Bam. Alright, so, biscuits. A little bit all-purpose, a little bit of wheat. Okay. Um, use about 25% wheat flour in here. Got a little baking powder, baking soda. Salt goes in here. Okay. I use a whisk. I used to um, actually sift this just to get it nice and powdery. Uh, gives it a nice airy quality to it. So, I grew up in Oklahoma. Uh, spent a long time in Tennessee, lived there for a very long time. That's my oven saying it's the temperature. Um, and we know biscuits. We love eating them. We love making them. And there's a few things that I learned while I lived there that you have to have in biscuits or they're not biscuits. All right. Gluten is one. Show me a good gluten recipe. Actually, I've got someone that uh, wants to give me some recipes for some nice uh, gluten-free stuff, but if it's a choice or anything, then go to hell. I don't I don't care about you. I'm joking. No, not. All right, so butter goes in, okay? All that butter, okay? Secret that I like to do, Buster, get down. No. He's messing with our workout clothes. Um, bacon grease, right? And biscuits? Why not? I always try to keep about you know, a cup or so of bacon fat. Not that I'm not going to be using bacon fat. Um, we typically eat healthy here at the Brew Shack, but every once in a while, man, you want some biscuits and some bacon and some gravy. Oh, that's right, we're making gravy and probably a fried egg. It's going to be really good. Um, so we've got our butter and our bacon fat in there, and then um, something I always like to add is a little bit of feta cheese. Um, so I had a little bit left over from the other night. You know, why the hell not? Okay. Uh, baking soda, baking powder, salt, butter, bacon fat. And here's one thing that you cannot skimp on. Okay. And this is a southern thing. And if you've been making biscuits without it, just stop what you're doing and reevaluate your entire life. Uh, you have to use buttermilk. Buttermilk is essential in making biscuits, okay? You are not going to get that fluffy, fluffy, um, little, you know, that has a little salt acidity to it. Uh, those biscuits just aren't going to come through for you right if you don't use buttermilk. So much fluffier and airier. Um, this is low-fat uh, buttermilk, so, you know, it's... We put a lot of butter in here, and uh, there's quite a bit of bacon fat, but we're going to make it as healthy as we can. All right, here in a second, I'm going to roll this out and we'll get to baking. Okay, we've got that all mixed up. Um, and these are rolled biscuits, so essentially exactly what it sounds like is uh, you get your rolling pin and you make not too hard presses on here, but what you want is you want the flour in between these rolls. Okay, so I lightly floured the surface before I'm rolling these out. But you want to give this dough about, you know, six or seven folds. So specific. Not too many. You don't want to overwork this. It's starting to dry out, so a little bit more flour on here. Okay. Get that all greased up. Goodness, these are going to be good. Alright, we'll do one more fold. I think it's about five. Nice biscuit. Nice baby. So as you can see, I wear an apron when I'm doing this because 
I get flour all over the place. Now I like to make some pretty thick biscuits. So here we are. Start cutting these bad boys out. Holy smokes. Those things are going to be huge. And each little bacon, biscuits. All right. Those are coming along nicely. Those are going to be massive. And then I always end up with, like, because I'm lazy, just rolling <laughs> the rest of them together. And then I make, like, this little Frankenstein biscuit. It saves time. I just need a few pretty ones to shoot. Jeez, got my back. Can't wait to get hold of that bacon. All right, so let's get this thing down here. Preheated the oven to 450. No need to grease these baking sheets because there's enough butter in these bad boys that they ain't gonna stick. All right, so here we are, 15 minutes. To the old time room. All right, now let's tackle this bacon. All right, so let me get this cleaned up and we'll take a look. Okay, so biscuits are in the oven. They got a little bit of time. And what I did was I took um, uh, quite a bit of the bacon grease that was actually in here and uh, saved it so I can use it later for whatever I need. Um, so right now as I'm bringing that up to temperature, what we want to do is just give, you know, this bacon, it doesn't have to be so fine, but just crumble that up. And I'm not going to use all this bacon um, in this gravy because it's quite a bit. Um, rest I can save for whatever, no excuse to have bacon. Um, so that's there. Oh! This yellow cup. I got from Yazoo Brewery in Nashville, Tennessee when I lived there at their Hot Chicken Festival. I've had this cup for probably geez, six years. Yazoo, South. Oh, really good fried chicken at that chicken festival. Hot chicken. Hot chicken. Okay, so good gravy, everyone knows. Good fat rendered down. You can use butter, um, really any kind of shortening. Um, but you know, you want to use flour and dissolve it in that fat. Dissolving it in the fat before you add your milk uh, will reduce the amount of lumps you have. And no, no one likes a lumpy gravy. No one. Sacrilege. And you know, most people, sausage gravy, like customer woman, really doesn't like bacon gravy all that much. Um, I love bacon gravy. I love the texture of it. I love the crispiness of the bacon fat comes through. Um, but if you don't particularly like the texture of bacon gravy, always whiskey, um, you can add sage, as Michael Rudd told me, and you'll get essentially the same flavor of sausage. Uh, so I'm going to do that today too. So then you just add milk just a little bit at a time, um, two cups total, uh, or you know, however long you want to stand over here and whisk it. Um, always whisk. Start to reduce your heat because you don't want to get that milk to start boiling. Look, she's already thickening up. I'm going to add quite a bit of milk this time because I don't want this to burn or stick. Always whisking, whisking. Oh dear mercy. Don't you wish you were here? Don't you wish you were all here? Hey, Frankie. All right, let's add that bacon. Why not? All right, so in goes the bacon. All right, a little milk here. Always whisking. Oh, whisk me away, you bacon gravy. These were a nice, thick-cut pepper bacon we got from Whole Foods. Sorry, Customer Woman works there. They're a great company. And they give me huge discounts on beer because my wife's cholesterol is low. All right, so, anyway, great.
gravy always needs a little bit of salt. Put that in there. Always black pepper. Sorry, some pepper from the bacon, but couldn't hurt. All right. So I'm just gonna stay here. Let this get all thick and whisked up. And I'll see you in a minute. And I'll have those biscuits out, and we'll get this shit plated. Not shit. Before noon, brown colch. I told you that I brew, didn't I? I do. Okay, and we are back, and we got the biscuits out of the oven, and they look fantastic. Just look at those layers, those flaky layers, all of the steam just comes right off of them. Okay, so beautiful biscuit. Fried up a little egg here. So I'm gonna slide that right down there on that bad boy, sort of. <laughs> okay, and now some of that fantastic bacon gravy that's just so full of flavor. And we're just gonna dot that on right there. All right. So there it is. A little more. I'm not driving. All right. Oh, sweet mercy. If there's... Now this is life. You've got homebrew. You've got beautiful bacon cooked perfectly. Biscuits, wheat, white flour, a fried egg, and it's dinner time. All right. Let's try this. Nice. It's going to be a big bite. Let me get some of that yolk in there. Oh, God. This comes out. Mm. Fantastic. Okay. Well, if you guys want the recipe, maybe I'll give it to you <laughs> if you're lucky. Um, look at these biscuits. Come on, biscuits, beer, bacon. Come on. What are you doing? Before noon. Out. Alright, I'm going to eat.